Hello and welcome to Selenium Expert Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn a bit more about the XPath access methods and the access methods that we are going to cover in this tutorial are descendant and descendant or self. So let's understand a bit about the these methods. So descendant is the method or the access method that selects all the descendants for example the child the grandparent gr grandchildren etc of the context node so whatever current node you are referring to in your uh, html dom or xml it will uh, or this a uh, descendant method will select all the children and grandchildren of that context node or the current node that you are referring to uh, the format is pretty similar uh, so it's a relative x path so it starts with two forward slash and then the tag name so tag name is uh, optional as well you can just put a star here in in place of tag name and that basically means that anywhere uh, or any tag on that html dom with certain attribute right so at the rate attribute and the value of the attribute forward slash two forward slash and then descendant two colons and the tag name and then you can have multiple you know like attributes with the tag name as well so that's uh, this is the very basic xpath format for the descendant the next method is descendant or self which is basically very similar to descendant the only difference is in the descendant method it selects all the children grandchildren etc of the context node in descendant or self it selects the context uh, current node and all the descendants of the current node so it will select the node itself as well only if the tag name for that descendants and the self are same so for example you are your current node has a tag of div okay and then all your child nodes are also having the or there are some child nodes which have the uh, tag as div then in that case descendant or self will select itself which is because it has the tag name as div and then it will also select the children grandchildren which have the same tag which is div so i'll explain this with an example so don't worry about um, the details much but the format for descendant of or self is also similar starts with two forward slash uh, for the relative x path and uh, then the tag name uh, attribute attribute value forward slash uh, to forward slash descendant or self and then the tag name so let's understand this with an example so let me open um, chrome browser and here you can see that i have been using developer.salesforce.com page to explain the xpath right so let me scan some element here so i'll right click and click on inspect in the chrome browser and it will open the details right so dev console here and then com command f on uh, mac os or control f on windows to open the search box right for the x path so we'll start with the descendant first so i'll start with two forward slash which is the rel relative x path and then the tag name so let me start with something say for example i start i want to select all the descendants of this particular div let me take a div which has more um so let me take this div here because it has many more divs below it right so it has this div then there are child divs here and here as well so let me take this div and what i'll do is i'll just say div okay so it will start selecting the div and then what i'll do is i'll say class is equal to sign up container all right so i'll say at class is equal to and then i'll say sign up container okay so now you can see this div has been highlighted and this is selected right and then again to forward slash and what i want to select is all the descendants of this particular div that means i'll just start with descendants 
all right and then two times colon and specify the tag okay so as soon as i specify the tag you can see all the descendant divs uh, from this context node the context node or the current node that we are referring is the this div with class sign up container and as soon as i select or i i mention descendant div then it gives me all the divs that are below this particular div so all the children direct children and the grandchildren so if i just keep hitting no, uh, next you will see it has selected the grandchildren right and then again so all the divs that are there below this div so all of those are selected now with descendant or self what is the difference it will also select this particular div so div with class sign up container will also be selected so if i just change it to descendant or self okay now you can see that it starts from the reference node or the current node okay which is div class sign up container and there are one of 28 so it has selected that particular node as well now there are many other uh, ways that you can write your xpath and customize your xpath so the other thing i want to explain is that it is not necessary to provide the tag name here when you start with the xpath so you can directly say to forward slash and a star so what basically star means is it will look for all the tags that are present in the html dom and then it will try to find out the uh, the tag which has these attributes okay whatever attributes that you specify here so for example it will check all the tags and figure out the uh, tag which has the class name as sign up container uh, the other thing is say for example here i'm saying descendant or self let me change it to descendant and then in the descendant div i can specify the attributes for the div as well so for example in the descendant div i want to select the div which has certain attributes say for example div with class uh, let me see where this particular element is so it is the sign up container and say for example i want to select the descendant div which has the class name as promo regular okay so what i'll specify is i'll say class is equal to and just specify the value of that particular class all right and now you can see the only one node has been selected so one div which is the descendant of this higher level class has been selected so the, there are many different ways to figure out what element or what object on the page uh, web element on the page you want to select the best way um, to learn the xpath selenium xpath is to keep practicing these uh, methods that we have been learning in this tutorial series and then uh, try to come up with the complex combinations uh, do do a lot of uh, research over the internet and uh, practice a lot and that's the key to master the xpath or how to find the xpath in selenium automation and you won't be stuck in figuring out the dynamic web elements on the on your uh, any application and it will become really really easy for you to figure out the xpath or uh, how to find the element in any selenium automation so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching